Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna focus on the Bitcoin price and tomorrow we're gonna start again with the traditional market. So today only Bitcoin. And before we start, very much appreciated my friends. If you could moon up the likes on this video and also subscribe to the channel. We do daily TA videos and also you can participate on our $10 worth of Bitcoin every week. We do this uh, giveaway and also if you need any kind of trading exchanges you find the recommended exchanges down below here in the video description with my links you not only support the channel but also of course you can get some rewards and you will also find some other useful links how to get some free cryptos and also when opening an account on these exchanges how to get some free cryptos as well for example here on coinbase i still have some links free where you can claim some free altcoins like stellar or cheat EOS and of course if you open up an account on coinbase where you can easily buy some bitcoins you can get ten dollars immediately for free and also Swiss pork I very recommend you here also you can get up to one hundred dollars in bonus if you open up the account with my referral link down below here so give it a try if you want to try out these exchanges and now we can start here on the Bitcoin price in the one hour time frame because we have currently a classic pump and dump scenario during the weekend. As you know, on the weekend, we always have playtime. And currently we have seen yesterday this pump towards here, the $11,200 level. We didn't touch it, but we came very close to this price level. And why this price level is so important? Because it's the 0.618 Fib line right here at $11,200. And that's why I think that if we're gonna have a possible rejection and the reversal here to the downside, again towards $10,000 maybe even down to close all to the CME gap at $9,600 then this would be the reasonable level here at $11,200 and so far we didn't touch it but we came very close with this pump yesterday and we had immediately then overnight here retracement back to where we closed on Friday also the CME so more or less we are at these levels right now and I think that also on Monday we're gonna most likely start uh, here where we close also the CME's at $10,900 here on the spot market but let's see what Sunday will bring I'm still expecting uh, to be a quiet day but uh, you never know here in the crypto space and in the one hour currently we are trading again in this uh, consolidation wedge i think that there is still a high chance that maybe we could break out here to the upside and in that case i think with the next move we most likely gonna touch and reach here this eleven thousand two hundred dollar but if we're gonna see a breakout to the downside and watch out for the 200 moving average in the one hour which is right at ten thousand seven hundred fifty dollar and if the 200 is not gonna hold here then i think we will initiate here the possible retest of this ten thousand five hundred dollar support level it always acted as a strong support and resistance so let's see if we're coming down again towards ten thousand five hundred dollar if this area is gonna hold again as a support or if we're going lower towards the cme gap at nine thousand six hundred dollar i'm expecting some initial support at ten thousand five hundred and also ten thousand dollar if we're going lower than 10,000 and uh, in the one hour you can also see that we're trading below the 20 and 50 moving average which is actually quite bearish also we are trading below the 50 level in the RSI so this indicate that we will most likely see some continuation to the downside and if 10,900 will break here the support then be prepared to see again a continuation to the downside towards my target of $10,500 at first and also the Bollinger Band in a one hour is looking again more bearish. We are trading in the lower area and also MACD and KSD are shifted to the downside. The stochastic is flat here, but more into oversold condition. So I think we could see a possible retest of this $11,000, maybe even $11,200. But if you're not able to break it, then I think we are most likely coming down again towards 10K most likely because the CME gap is always acting as a magnet. And that's why I still think there is a high chance that first we could see this gap feeling before we start to attack again 12K and also break it. 
And now let's switch over into the four hour time frame because here also you can see that we are trading right at the 20 moving average. And if here we're gonna have a four hour close below this level where we are at right now, then I think this could initiate a bigger correction to the downside. Also so far we didn't close above the 200 moving average, only here this fake out, but here we didn't have a confirmation so after closing a four hour candle above the 200 moving average we came straight down again below and that's why this was a fake out so we didn't have the confirmation that the 200 is now the new support RSI is cooling off down to the 50 level so let's see if here we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside or not so also here in the four hour time frame we are in a very critical level and also here you can see a clear bearish divergence we had here a higher high in the price and the lower high in the RSI so this also leads into a possible correction to the downside and the possible also breakout to the downside from this consolidation wedge that we are in right now and if we switch over into the Bollinger Band in the four hour you can see that also here we are in a very critical point we are right in the middle line so if here we're gonna have a four hour close below this 10,950 level then we're gonna initiate a possible correction down to at least here the bottom of the Bollinger Band which is at $10,800 and if this one is getting lost then be prepared to see 10,500 coming up pretty soon also KST MACD are shifted to the downside stochastic as well but here it looks like that we are coming into oversold condition so there is a high chance that we could also bounce from it but we can also stay in this area for quite some time especially if the MACD and KSD are still shifted to the downside and now let's open up the daily time frame because here in the daily also you can see that currently we're trading here between the 20 daily moving average at $10,800 and the 50 daily here at our possible resistance point here of $11,200 RSI is right at the 50 level so also here we are coming into a very critical point and that's why I'm still believing in in this possible gap filling down to $9,600 and as long as we're not able to break this $11,200 resistance and also start to trade above the 50 daily moving average there is a, still a very high chance that we could potentially go lower to test this important area down here at $9,200 to close the CME gap that we have in the CME chart test the old resistance which now should be the new support and also bounce off from the 200 daily moving average which during a bull run is a very important support level to keep up with and if we switch over into the CME chart here you can see once more the CME gap that is still open down here and also the 200 daily moving average again which is coming very close to the old resistance which now should be acting as a very strong support this yellow line here and as you can see since we broke out here to the upside we never came down to test this line and that's why I think it is very likely that with this move that we may be going to see here in the next couple of days uh, we possibly coming down to test this line and also bounce from it and at the same time closing this CME gap. That would be the perfect condition for a big start of a parabolic run to the upside. And now let's open up also the Bollinger Band in the daily time frame because here everything is looking a bit more bullish than bearish. So in the short time frames we have very bearish indications but here in the daily it looks like that we could gear up here for a big move to the upside because we just had a bullish cross in the MACD and KST so they are shifted to the upside right now. Stochastic is overbought so here we could see a possible cool off first before we're gearing up for a big move to the upside but also here you can see that we are trading in the upper area so in theory it is possible that we will go down to test again this ten thousand five hundred dollar the middle line but also could easily go up here towards the eleven thousand five hundred fifty level which currently is the top here of the Bollinger Band so as you can see the daily is still looking quite bullish even though in the lower time frames we have here some bearish signs that could indicate that we could have some short-lived dumps but overall in the bigger time frames we are still very bullish and also here in the weekly of course you can see that currently we are bouncing off from the 20 weekly moving average which is very bullish and also from the 50 level in the RSI. And if we switch over into the Bollinger Band in the weekly time frame you can see that currently we are right at the top here of this moving average in the weekly. It's exactly at $11,050. So if this week is gonna close above this price level, so if today we're gonna close this candle above $11,050, I think this could initiate a big pump towards $12,000 again because this would be the top here of the Bollinger Band. But if we are not able to break out here from this channel 
channel that we are in currently between eleven thousand and ten thousand dollar then i think next week we could see a potential retest of this ten thousand and if there we're not gonna bounce then most likely we are going to trade again in the lower area here so between ten thousand and eight thousand dollar and you know my bearish target is around nine thousand two hundred dollar where all the 200 daily moving average is lining up so i don't think that we will reach this eight thousand dollar ever again but nine thousand two hundred dollar i think is still in the cards and this is what i am looking for if this week is not gonna close above eleven thousand dollar and next week maybe we're coming down to test again this 10k also stochastic is still shifted to the downside so the momentum here is clearly shifted to the downside we have to wait till we're gonna have a big bounce here in the stochastic and MACD and KSD are still shifted to the upside so that is good but if here we're gonna have a bearish cross this could lead into a major sell-off towards our bearish targets down here and this is what we also have to look here in the bigger time frames but overall we are still in an uptrend and even if we would retrace and have a correction down to those levels here that wouldn't be too bad that would be maybe the last opportunity to buy really cheap bitcoin before we're really taking off here to new all-time highs and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to moon up the like subscribe to the channel here very much appreciated and also if you want to join our free discord trading chat you find the invitation link down below here in the video description you're very welcome and shout out to all the community over there we have a great crypto family in our discord trading chat so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye